What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. In this one, we're going to be talking about something that's been on my mind recently a lot and it's something that between Call of Duty and a lot of the other video editing stuff that I do for an actual job, I've had this come up a lot recently and that is the topic of World War II. Something that I've gone back and played quite a bit of World at War just for fun because I've enjoyed the game thoroughly and then whenever you go and take a look at some of the other things out there right now, it's a very relevant topic in the first person shooter category, but today we're going to be talking about exactly what I think this could mean for Call of Duty, both influences inside and outside the brand and the franchise itself. So, that said, let's start off at the very beginning. Call of Duty has always really tried to stay ahead of the curve in the first person shooter category and genre for years now. Modern Warfare is the first thing that we saw a little bit of a breakaway from the oversaturation of a market in the first person genre. At that point, Modern Warfare was the breakaway from the World War II craze back in the day, and then came some subtle variations breaking into Vietnam era and modern chains and all that, but then Black Ops 2 pushed the future a bit and then pushed out of the modern era, and that was about the time that it became oversaturated at that point as well. So then we finally went full bore into the future, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, and look where we are today. A little bit of unpopularity within that fandom and the oversaturation of future titles now in the first person genre is catching up with that phase as well. If you look at games like Titanfall, Destiny, Halo, Dos Ex, all those titles, a very limited market and of course a lot of those are fit more so towards the future genre, have better reception than that of Call of Duty, but the era itself is now starting to become overpopulated, oversaturated in the video game market. When you take a look at the time period trends, you can see something of the following. World War II lasted in the originals from 2003 to 2006, give or take a year if you want to keep World at War in there, but 2007 marked the birth of COD 4 and Modern Warfare, so the consecutive releases of World War II were then broken up. The Modern and Vietnam era lasted from 2009 with Modern Warfare 2 until about 2012 with the introduction of Black Ops 2, which was somewhat near future. So that cluster of plausible fiction and somewhat modern was all in that time frame. So 2013 and 2012 were their own little bubble with the future releases of Black Ops 2 and Ghosts, but those were still near future and somewhat considered slightly modern. 2014 to 2016, however, that is a completely different story. That holds Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and Infinite Warfare, all farther future titles. But if you've picked up the pattern, it's roughly at the end of that designated cycle that we've seen in the yearly release trends. Three years per time period is roughly what it's been, and that right now is currently up. It's time for Call of Duty in the near future to jump ship on this idea of future titles as well and hit on something brand new or revert back to something that is hot right now. And what's hot right now? Well, World War. Battlefield 1 did a fantastic job, no doubt, with bringing what may be the nostalgia back to the first person shooters of the era, but regardless of it is nostalgia or just a reintroduction to the era of World War II, no doubt it did fantastic among fans and definitely the World War setting totally drove a lot of love this year in the way of the Battlefield versus COD debate and in the favor of Battlefield. So if you take a look at it in that regard, Battlefield versus COD, the two major FPS competitors here in the AAA development standards. That's something that of course there's going to be some drive from that, but if you also want to take a look at it as well, there is a bunch of new competitors on the horizon that might take a stab at it as well. Battalion 1944 is probably one of the most prominent, and if the release goes well, I'd honestly expect it to be picked up by a AAA publisher. It looks absolutely fantastic. If you have not seen anything about Battalion 1944, definitely suggest you search it up. It's definitely worth a watch and it definitely gets you hyped if you're a World War II fan. Enlisted, it looks to steal some thunder as well. Right now, there's not too much known about that game. It's just a couple short teasers that were released, but it looks absolutely fantastic in the graphics and how it's approached in its development standard. But regardless, there is a whole list of World War II titles coming soon and no doubt, COD should definitely want a piece of that pie. I think at this point, it's a no-brainer to go back into the past with Call of Duty and where we can see, and I think World War II is definitely a very viable option for Call of Duty to revisit back whenever they come into their past eras like I think they're going to in the next couple of years. 
As for when, I don't necessarily think that COD 2017 will be World War II, and I think that that is a specific reason just for what Sledgehammer has already been previously working on. And also, I think it might be a good thing that it's not actually in 2017 because of the reception of Battlefield 1. There would, without a doubt in my mind, be a large majority of people criticizing COD for blatantly copying Battlefield despite how a three-year development cycle works, and if you want to take a look at it, it would probably have been started right around the time Battlefield 3 was finishing up, and then into the phase of Battlefield Hardline, which I'm sure a lot of people, and Battlefield fans in particular, would say was almost a disaster at that point. So while I don't think there's absolutely any room for criticism on a copying if they were to do World War II, World War I for Call of Duty 2017, without a doubt in my mind it would still happen. So that's something that I think that it might be better to hold off a year and plus, once again, Sledgehammer, in my mind, would be picking up with their Vietnam title that they had started to design before being brought on board to aid in the development and creation of Modern Warfare 3, and then that was entirely cancelled while in development of Advanced Warfare. So, perhaps in 2018, we'll see the return to World War II. We'll see a full-blown World War II scaled game from Treyarch. That's probably my best guess here with this. It works well in my mind as well, because Sledgehammer then picks up a game they created years ago and have expressed keen interest in still having a hand in development if they ever got the chance, all while retaining the past era with boots on the ground, which would please fans once again, and then Treyarch goes back in 2018 to their COD roots and developing a World War II title that would be perfect for the fans at that point and continues this boots on the ground trend past genre and also would incorporate their own big forte of zombies quite well, I think, since Revelations closed off the gaps a little bit, there's definitely room to revisit Origins and the storyline of it all, if at all. So. That said, I think there's just a lot of potential in the ideas and its plausible ideology behind all of it and what we can see for 2017 and then maybe a World War II title in 2018. So that said, that is where we're going to wrap it up. I think that's going to just conclude my thoughts on the subject. If you guys have anything that you have here to want to add into it or refute in your own regard, feel free to drop it down there in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on it all. Once again, I'm actually really excited to see what the future of Call of Duty holds, and I think definitely if we go back to boots on the ground and potentially even World War II in once again, probably not 2017, but maybe 2018. I definitely think that this is a great way to kickstart, once again, Call of Duty. A lot of people said that Call of Duty's dead. This is probably the worst year in sales that we've had for quite some time. So that statement, though probably not still holding any bearing because it is a major AAA title and still sells many copies, that is something that it is more relevant now than ever before. So to re-kickstart this whole Call of Duty thing would be absolutely fantastic. And I think that two games in the past era, one Vietnam, one World War II, I think that'd be a great way to do it. And of course, the World War II topic is very hot once again right now. So I think it'd be a great option. But that said, drop your thoughts down in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing to stay up to date with everything Call of Duty-wise, Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Master, Black Ops 3, and anything in particular regarding the franchise and any thoughts and topics we may have. If that interests you at all, stick it right here. And of course, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter, so that said, you guys can hit me up any point in time, start a conversation, whatever it may be. We'll talk a little bit over there. But thank you dudes so much for watching. My name is Nicole Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Take care and peace.